What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be showcasing Lynn. Now, if you guys don't know, Lynn is out on the CN version, and she's been out for a while, so I should have definitely made this video sooner, but I didn't. Um, today is like the last day she's out on CN, so I almost missed being able to make this video, but I'm glad that I can. But anyways... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you some early Lynn gameplay now. This is not talking about numbers This is not talking about any of that stuff I just want to show you what she does and show you what she looks like as far as me going over her stuff right now I just want to go over it. So you know what she's doing, right? So as far as the numbers you don't have to pay attention to specifically what the numbers do uh, as far as that goes, but anyway, she does have 11.5 shatter and charge uh, I'm not entirely sure if they'll change it. They might change it on global, but this is just what she has on TN. Um, she has her own element called aberration or altered. I don't know what the, you know you want to call it, but that it's her own element. And what this element does, when the weapon is fully charged, the next attack will leave a mark on the enemy that explodes after five seconds. The explosion deals 25% of the damage dealt during the marked period up to 560 percent of attack only one mark uh only one mark can exist at a time right that's that's number she it does a lot of stuff so that's number one weapon mastery activate weapon mastery when used with other weapons night blooms will randomly appear around the target and explode within one to three seconds dealing 60 percent aoe damage now that we've talked about that let's go ahead and get into our advancements because if you guys don't know whenever you test out this character um, you can they do give you her at c6 so you will be able to test out all of her advancements as well normal attacks deal aoe damage when night blooms are in explosion range of each other increase the damage of subsequent explosions by 10 percent each up to 50 percent moonlight realm reduces the spawn time of night blooms by 0.5 seconds right um she has one of the better c1s out of a lot of characters i in my opinion uh off off the fact that when the night blooms explode in range of each other it increases the damage and you can do it, it stack multiple times and then it reduces the night bloom you know timer to you know come out and explode obviously attack growth moonlight realm reduces the spawn time of night blooms to 0.3 so now they're kind of like a machine gun right they're kind of going to be coming out fast now Night blooms now attached to enemies. So now it's not random. Night blooms were initially random whenever they would just spawn. So sometimes they wouldn't spawn and hit an enemy. Now they will spawn and hit enemies every single time. This is going to be ridiculous. The duration of Moonlight Realm is increased to 20 seconds. So instead of it being 15, now it's 20. And then increase attack growth. When inside the Moonlight Realm, gain 30 weapon charge per second and increase damage of discharge skills by 15%. Buffing the team, making the team, you know, flow smoother, just really, really good. And then her six star, Moonlight Realm, can be activated up to two times. So now you got two charges of her skill. Gain one charge from skill cooldown. Gain one charge from using discharge skills three times. Effective in the background, the damage bonus while inside Moonlight Realm is increased to 15%. So basically what this means is, let's say you, you, have, you have one charge right now of Moonlight Realm. If you use three discharges, you'll get another charge. But if you have zero charges and you do six discharges, you'll only get one you only get one charge. So you can't use it for both charges. You can use it for one charge, though. But, yeah, very, very, very good uh, advancements. I don't know how it's going to be when it comes to global, but um, it's regardless of how it comes to global, she's, she's still going to be a good character, right? You, you look at Ruby, you... Ruby's still amazing. She got nerfed by like 50%. Um, I'm not going to show the normals and stuff here because I'm going to be showing you guys in game. And then um, I'm not going to read over the entire skill, but just know, right? Just some TLDR. Uh, she drops down a, a big old moonlight realm. In this realm, she can fly. She has reduced stamina reduction. And she can like stay in the air and keep shooting out her her moves in this realm that's where the night blooms are going to be getting generated right on top of that um depending on which elements you have in your team she will get a different type of buff so flame vault frost physical or if you have diff two different elements on the team now inside this practice mode or whatever that they give you i won't have it because they they don't give it to you in this mode 
so right now i'll have the two different ones i'm pretty sure or maybe not anything but um that's just some tldr if you guys want to read through everything all specifically you can but i didn't want to go over all of this um as far as that so now that we're done talking about that let's go ahead and get into the game so you guys can see exactly what's going on currently i do have saki fuwa and alice on the team uh this is the best in slot frost team on cn to date uh alice whenever alice steps in she takes frigs spot so this is the best team you know currently on cn but uh let's go ahead and look at you know some of the stuff she does this is her auto attacks right here And all of her moves are ranged, by the way, like full range. So if you thought she wasn't a ranged character, you're wrong. Here's her charge in the middle of her combo. There you go. Um, here's her just hold charge, which you guys just saw, which is this. And the longer you hold it, the more damage it does and the farther it goes, as you guys see right here. Now we can get into her aerials. Kind of the same thing. As her ground attacks then we can get into her aerials and the hold she just drops that down her dash attack forward and it's kind of like a homing missile that's why it like hit a hard right and then her back one is the same thing but yeah it's kind of like a homing missile now for what a lot of you guys have been waiting for her skill her skills actually ridiculous so you use her one and in here like I said you she can fly and her stamina reduction is reduced now you can move forward or you can move up right now obviously you can get out of it if you fly too high so yeah she is actually pretty ridiculous and as you guys see, I have one charge right now, and that's because it's the cooldown charge. And after I do three discharges, I will get my second charge. Now we're going to look at her discharge skill so you guys can see what that looks like. A super huge flower right there. And it just sits there tanking, you know, doing damage. Really, really nice. If you guys want to see some of her gameplay... As you guys see, the flowers are now procking. They're just hitting the enemies over and over. See, look. Like, even... Like, I'm not even doing anything. They just keep hitting them over and over. That's how her uh, flowers work. And I just got hit. But, yeah, you can, you can fly up. And you can just stay here so they never hit you. And that's just how it works. And then, like, you can use another one if you want to. Go up. And as you guys can see, the second one is in the air. So, like, it doesn't land on the ground. It lands wherever you use it. Right? But, yeah, this is her... A lot of her gameplay. And that's how you use her. Just fly into the air. But, anyways, there you guys go. That is Lynn. Uh, I will probably make another video showing you guys... Um, showing you guys her with the ice team i wanted to just showcase lynn first here but anyways that's going to be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think in the comment section with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace